Hi, Steve. Hi, Vesna. I wanted to ask you today, what tips do you have for beginner artists? Uh, okay, I have, I'm very happy to answer that. All, all I would say is that, of course, um, there are lots of different types of artists and lots of different ways that we, you know, we evolve our craft. So um, I'll give you a, some thoughts, but it, I have to confess to being slightly parochial because it will be about the sort of art that perhaps I I do and the, and the experiences I had as I kind of, you know, move through my artistic journey. Um, if that's OK, I'll, I'll do it that way. Yes. OK, so the, the first thing I would say for any beginner is to keep practicing. That might sound like an obvious thing, but it's it's really important. And it's not always about producing a painting or a picture. Um, it's about building the foundations that allow you to do that. And one of the, the things, I mean, it depends, again, on what sort of art you do. But for, for a lot of artists, that's about drawing. So drawing is the basis for an awful lot of art. And being able to draw well, uh, I think, in Proves the speed and the the way that we we develop our art often again depending on the type of art. So drawing is really important, and I have at a personal level, you know, um, I I would benefit by doing more drawing, you know, just drawing from life. And I and I I think that's true of perhaps quite a lot of artists, if I'm honest. So the thing about drawing is it teaches you to look and it teaches you to see. I remember an art teacher when I was young who kept saying, draw what you see, not what you know. And really what he was saying was, look, look carefully. If you, and just as a sort of simple example, if you asked a child in a school to draw a flower, they'd draw a stem and it would be you know, petal, 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 round bit in the middle. That's what we recognise as a flower. But when you actually look at a flower, it it, it almost certainly isn't going to look like that. Might, you know, there'll be an angle or there'll be, you know, um, a variety of different petal shapes and, or, you know, something like that. You know, it, it varies. So it's about drawing what you see and practicing that, practicing that as an art. So I think um, for, for many artists who, who are looking to paint and draw from life, you know, that's the, that's the basic building block. So just keep practicing it. Just keep doing it. You don't have to show it to anyone. Just do it for you. And you know, just get in the habit of doing it uh, a lot and learn to love it. You know, have a sketchbook with you, draw is probably the, the, the first thing I would say. The other thing I would say is that when you make a painting, um, try to produce the best work you can. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. So um, you'll get quicker as you do more of it. Well, we all do. Um, but it doesn't matter how long it takes. You're doing it for yourself, not for Instagram, not for the, you know, do it for yourself and do the best work you can. And if you want, if you like what you end up with at, at the end and you want to post it, brilliant. But I think a lot of, a lot of artists that I see, perhaps, you know, the, the beginner artists in particular, are quite often focused on producing something for the algorithm. And it's like, I've got to, I need to post every other day, so I've got to produce a bit of work every other day. Um, if you are producing work every other day, and, you, uh, and that's just how it happens to be, and you want to post it, great. But I just think that sometimes it's worth taking stock and going, I need to do this for me, not for an external reason. And I, and I think that improves your, uh, the quality of your work. Um, And the third thing I would say is just ignore the doubters and the critics. Ignore them. Yeah. Just do the art for you. Um, and if you have doubters and critics and they are bothering you in some way, whether it's a you know a so-called friend or someone you know on Instagram or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, just don't show it to them anymore. Just do the work for you and enjoy the process. Um, you know, that's a, I think that's an important thing. I don't know how, how you feel about that, but. I, yeah. I, yeah, I feel about that very strongly because um, I think when you will do the work that you will be enthusiastic about, 
a lot of people will be enthusiast about too. So just keep going till you have something that you look at it and you say, wow. Because to me, it happens that way. I say, wow, and when the gallery uh, receive my receives my paintings and they unwrap them, they, uh, they send me a message. The paintings in person are really amazing. And this is the thing, you will feel you don't need uh, from another person to tell you that your artworks are okay. Because when you will say, wow, but really wow, not just wow to finish, not just wow <laughs> to, because it's your work. No, really wow, you will feel it on the inside. When you feel it on the inside, wow, also the other person's people will will say wow and also your customers will say wow the ones who have the same sensibility as you will say wow so don't worry at all about other people just do like steve said great advice is really thank you uh, uh, the other thing I'd, have, I'd observe as well is of course with things like instagram there's lots and lots of artists on instagram and you're looking at lots and lots of art and it's just human nature to compare yourself to other people. Uh, but I would really encourage you not to do that um, in a negative way. Uh, I, I once I spoke to an artist on DM, just a little bit of a chit chat, and um, they I said, well, "Why haven't you put any art up?" And they deleted all the art from the Instagram account. Just there's a couple of pictures, and uh, and um, I said, oh, "I was just so full of artists. I just find it a bit depressing." And I thought that was such a shame. Uh, and that's what I mean about don't compare yourselves to other people. Uh, um, it doesn't matter. Just do your art for you. And if you feel like posting it and sharing it, any artist worth their salt will look at it and see that you are producing art. It doesn't matter what it's like. It, it, we're all at different stages. Um, we're all, we all have more or less time, very varying amounts of time to devote to the art. So it doesn't matter. Just do it for you and enjoy doing it. Um, and any artist that criticizes art that you post, I think I think that's a little bit mean. And I, I don't see any of that, if I'm honest, on, on um, certainly no. not my experience with Instagram. But no, uh, um, we can also feel that ourselves. We kind of fill in the dots. And uh, I, I just think don't 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 think like that. Just yeah, enjoy art you see on Instagram. Some things you will learn from, you know, um, some things you'll think, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I'll have a go at that. But that's all great. But don't worry about comparing yourselves to other artists. Just do it for you and you'll, you'll flourish. Your, your, your journey will, will be that much more enjoyable. Um, which brings me on, actually, nicely to, to the sort of fourth point I was going to make, which was um, just learn to love the process. The process yes. of making art is a lovely thing, in my view. And I think if it's not a lovely thing, why would we be doing it? So um, just reminding yourself that, that you know, uh, to, re to enjoy the process and to, to start not worrying about who's looking over your shoulder if you're, having a, if you're doing a sketch in the park or whatever it is you're doing it um, and what other people think. Just enjoy it for you. Enjoy the process. I come in here and I've, you know, I'm going to be doing a, a, another layer on one of those petals, and I just enjoy the process of trying to get the colours as best I can and and getting the blending right. And I, you just lose yourself in that moment. It doesn't have to be a massive amount of work, you know. It it could be something you do in ten minutes. It could be something you do in uh, um, ten hours. It, just enjoy the process. Um, and tied in with that really is the last point, which is not just about the process, but about the journey. You know, learn to love the journey. You know, there'll be ups and downs and, you know, we all have them. We all kind of, not every painting is going to be better than the last painting. You know, there's going to be dips in that journey as you come back up again. That's life. And frankly, anything which is not quite as you wanted it to be, that's a learning experience. And that's how we get better. Just enjoy the journey, you know, and if you 
if it's not quite how you want, it's not a disaster. It's a thing to learn from. Well, I learned how to do this now. It, that, that's it. And that's a good thing. So, um, again, just it's always worth kind of reminding ourselves that the journey is a nice thing and the process is a nice thing. And the outcomes, yeah, they're great. It's lovely to finish a piece of work and to show it to people. Uh, and if they like it, that's even better. But it's all the sort of the meat that goes behind that, I think, that that is uh, something that we should cherish just a, a, a bit more and remind ourselves of of, uh, of why we're doing it and, um, and enjoy it. Yes, I completely agree with you, Steve. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Vesna. It's lovely talking to you again. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next time. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye, bye.